Hey you guys, welcome. My name is Lala's Grand. If you haven't been here before, welcome to my channel. Now, I am not home. I'm not like in my regular filming space. I'm actually on a family vacation. I brought my camera, my equipment, some new products with me because I'm just so excited to film. And so I filmed this look, testing out the new Huda Beauty Glowish or Glowish by Huda Beauty Skin Tint. And I also tried the new bronzer as well. And I had been picked up this palette, but I have, but I haven't used it yet. It's a toffee brown. So that's really what I did for this look. I just wanted this to be a nice, quick, easy, beginner friendly, something just nice, like to go out the door type look. And I feel like that's what I achieved. So I hope that you guys enjoy this video. So let's hop right in. Welcome you guys. So obviously I'm in a different location. The scenery is different. I traveled with my family. We are on a family vacation. We do this like once a year. We haven't done it since like 2019, obviously because of COVID. And right now with the numbers starting to go back up, we are just doing like a family safe staycation type of thing. And yeah, so we're out here. So I'm in a different location. I definitely have like a different background. I've got a pool behind me, you guys. So if y'all hear noises, you guys know what that's about. But I wanted to go ahead and film because I have so much stuff to film and I'm so excited. Like I brought a ton of stuff with me that I probably shouldn't have brought. And it looks like some of the stuff that I really wanted to bring, I also left. But what I do have that I really wanted to film with is the Huda Beauty Glowish Skin Tint, you guys. So I've been loving skin tints. Like the Fenty Beauty Skin Tint, mm, that's like one of my top favorite skin tints. I absolutely love it. I love how flawless that coverage is. So I was really intrigued on trying another one. So today we're gonna be trying Glowish by Huda Beauty and it's their skin tint. I was intrigued to try this when I saw this come out. I was like, I wonder what this is gonna be like. So I got this and I also got the Soft Radiance Bronzing Powder by Glowish. So we're gonna see what these two items are like. I have so much other stuff from Hoodie Beauty that I haven't even tried out yet. This is just like the tip of the iceberg. So we're gonna go ahead and try this out today and it's summer, it is so hot outside. Like we like to be active and do things together on a family vacation. So I'm really gonna see how this skin tint wears throughout the day today, so I am excited. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. I went ahead, I washed my face. You guys know I love to start on a clean face. So I'm starting on a clean and beautiful face. And because it's hot outside, the sun rays are blazing. I'm definitely gonna go in with some SPF. So this is my Fenty Beauty Moisturizer that I'm just gonna use. And my lips are so dry. All right, so let's talk about the skin tint. This skin tint actually retails for $37 and it has 40 mLs in it. And it comes in a total of 13 different shades. Now the shade that I got is 11 deep. And I got this shade because it was closer to my skin tone. So just remember that Skin tints can cover like a variety of different shades because they're so sheer. And so Deep 11 is described as deep skin tones with red undertones. Now, if I would have went down, it would have been too light. If I would have went up, it wouldn't have been right. So my undertone is warm golden, but I do believe that this will work. And I haven't even opened this yet. When I tell you that I traveled with the box, like I wasn't playing no games. And here it is, it's in this nice little soft tube packaging. And here's the bronzing powder, and this retails for $31. And they say this is supposed to be suitable for deep to extra deep skin tone. So the packaging on this, you guys, is quite different. Like I feel like it could actually break or crack easily. So that's the only concern that I have with this packaging. But other than that, it does look cute. And I also have the Huda Beauty Water Jelly Primer. So I'm not gonna actually try it with the skin tint because I want something that's more mattifying. Like, it is so hot outside, you guys, like over here. It's really hot, it's really humid. I already know how my skin is, I get oily, so I want something that's gonna help give me some extra protection. So typically, whenever I'm trying out like new foundations or skin tints or anything at all, I always like to use a primer that I always know that works. But you guys, I actually have to use a new primer this time. I really wanna try the Makeup Revolution Mattifying Primer. I really, really like the Pore Primer and the Hydrating one. I love those. So I really wanna try the Mattifying, especially since it's so hot out here. And I'm gonna use this today because I don't think this skin tint is gonna do much to help control my oils. And I really, really, really want some extra help because it's so hot out here. And just looking at it, it comes out almost like a clear liquid, but putting it on the back of my hand after I rub it in, I can see it mattifying. All right, 
so I do feel like it's mattifying already, but I definitely want to go ahead and see how this wears out. I'm not sure, you guys, so we will definitely see. But before I do the skin tint, I actually want to do my eyebrows first. And I did pick up another Huda Beauty powder, and this is in the shade Tonita. So I'm going to go ahead and use some eyebrows because, you guys, a girl's eyebrows gets oily, okay? And I do like to put powder on my brows literally before I put my product on, only because I feel like it helps for my brows to last longer, especially since I get oily in this area. If you haven't tried out Huda Beauty's brow pencil, you guys, that pencil is so good. I really, really like that eyebrow pencil. But of course, I ran out and I didn't have time to go to the store. Right now, I'm using the Rev On brow pencil, only because I forgot my brow pencils and this is the only thing that I have and that I found. So it's not my number one choice, but it'll do the job for now. All right, so let's try this skin tint now. So I'm just gonna pump it directly onto my face, which I don't normally do. But let's see what this shade match is looking like so far. Let's just see what that looks like. Okay, that's a pretty good shade match, you guys. Now remember, this is described to have warm undertones. So this is a little over one pump, so I'm gonna go ahead and just spread this out. I just want to blend this out just to see what kind of coverage I get. I'm really liking the shape match so far. I feel like it's perfect. about a little less than a pump on this side. And it does have a really nice dewy finish, you guys. So skin tints are made to be really nice and sheer, to offer a nice light coverage, and I feel like I'm getting just that from this, and it's really nice and glowy too. Now I do have the mattifying primer on, so I really wanna see how that's gonna help me throughout the day. But so far, this is, let me see, probably about around two pumps or so. And I like the coverage I'm getting. I don't want nothing that's full coverage. I just want something, I don't even want anything that's medium coverage. I just want something that has some coverage. I'm really happy with the coverage and how everything is right now, but I want to put on just a little bit more only to see if this is something that I can build up just a little bit more. All right, so this is what it's looking like with the three pumps about. Now, I liked how it looked before with about a pump and a half to two pumps on my face. I like to have the minimal product as possible, especially if I'm having something that's light coverage. Why do I want to pile on a whole bunch of you know, product to build it up more? Rather than that, I'd use something that has more pigment and something that's medium to full coverage if that's the look I wanted. But I just wanted to go ahead and apply a third pump because I know some people are like, oh, what does it look like if it's built up more? I know some people are going to ask the question, so I went ahead and I did three pumps. But you guys, the coverage is really nice. I feel like the undertone, everything, it's perfect. I like it. There's nothing I would change. Now, it definitely is glowy. I am using a new primer, which I normally don't do. I haven't tried out this Makeup Revolution Mattifying Primer before. I should have used my e.l.f. Matte Putty Primer because I know how this primer works, but I didn't even realize that I brought this with me. I literally just saw this. I should have used this instead of the Makeup Revolution Matte Primer, but we'll see how this works throughout the day. So traveling is so difficult. Like I thought I had more concealers that I packed with me, and the only concealer that I can find is my Pat McGrath concealer. And I really do love this concealer, but I didn't want to use this today because I really wanted just a really nice, light coverage type finish. So I'm debating on whether I want to use any concealer at all. Normally I like to have some type of concealer coverage under my eyes. So I think what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to go ahead and just use a little bit of this concealer. And when I say a little bit, I mean like the tiniest dot ever because it's full coverage and really pigmented. And I really wanted something that was light coverage. I'm gonna go ahead and 
and set with the Huda Beauty powder. And so for my eyeshadow, I'm gonna go ahead and use the Toffee Brown palette. Now, she released three of these. I did pick up two. I have Toffee and Caramel. And surprisingly, I haven't even used them yet. So today, I'm gonna go ahead and use Toffee. I'm gonna start off with this brown shade right here and just pop that over in my crease. I just want something really nice, light, and natural. And I'm just gonna use the same brush to blend it out. And then I'm gonna take this light tan shade, I'm gonna use the same exact brush, and I'm just gonna pop this on my lid. And then blend. And I'm gonna take this shimmer shade right here in between the two shades that I used. I'm gonna use that in my inner corner. And I'm not gonna wet the brush just yet. I just wanna see what kind of color payoff I get. And I'm using Pat McGrath to line my waterline. Speaking of Pat McGrath, did y'all see that Auntie Pat is about to release another Mothership palette? I can't, like I'm literally on her Instagram like almost every other hour because I'm just so excited to see what she's gonna release. Like I'm so excited, I don't know why, but I feel like this palette is just gonna be so beautiful. So I am definitely gonna get that palette right when it comes out. I'm gonna use the same brown shade just to smoke out my waterline. It's been so long since I've traveled and it honestly feels so good to just be out in different states. And I know for me, like I've been so busy lately so this is really just a good time just for me to slow down and just refocus on things that I want to do next, things that I want to do, reprioritize and whatnot. So I'm really excited just to get away. All right, so I really want to try this bronzer. Now this bronzer, just looking at it, it looks like it has maybe just a little bit of shimmer. Let me go ahead and swatch this out for you guys to see. Now in swatching it out, I don't see any shimmer in it. But, you guys, if this is the darkest shade, I don't think that this is going to be dark enough for everyone. Let me go ahead and blend this out and apply it on my skin just to see what it would look like. I'm going to take a large, clean, fluffy brush and just start bronzing my skin just so we can see what this looks like. Alright, so this is giving warmth to my skin so far. And yeah, I mean, it's, ooh. Okay, it's showing up on me. I was worried that it wasn't gonna show up, but it is, and it's really pretty. I really like how light this bronzer is. Ooh. Y'all, this bronzer's really nice so far. Y'all, this bronzer is so nice. I have so many good bronzers now. Like this is another one that I'm adding to my collection. The color, the pigment in this bronzer is perfect. Wow, this is so beautiful. And I didn't apply any contour because I really wanted to see what this bronzer would look like on its own and it's Beautiful. I really don't want to get carried away because I feel like I'm about to. So let me just try and stop my. It's really giving me a really nice airbrush finish, and the amount of warmth that I have on my skin is perfect. Like this bronzer shade for my skin tone is perfect. The only thing that I'm not liking so far is that I just don't feel that. Um, shades that are deeper than me can benefit from this as much. Like, I really would have liked to have seen even deeper shades than this because this is a darker shade, you guys. But it looks beautiful. And again, I didn't apply any contour 
and I'm not looking for this to be a contour. I'm looking for it to bronze and warm up my skin and it looks so beautiful. All right, so for blush, I'm gonna be using the Rare Beauty Liquid Blush and this is in the color Lucky. So I just like to take this and apply it like on the back of my hand, just a little bit, because you guys already know I get carried away with blush. So proud of myself i did not get carried away with my blush this time and to set my face i'm gonna go with my charlotte tilbury setting powder and i'm just gonna go all over the rest of my face with this and so for my highlight i actually want to use one of the shades that are in this palette i'm gonna go in with this golden shade right here up top this shade is beautiful as a highlight shade and so for lashes, I'm gonna go ahead and use Lily Lashes in the style Lila. So for my lips, I really just wanna follow this like flawless, natural, beautiful makeup look that I have going on so far. So for my lip liner, I'm gonna go ahead and line my lips with Cola from Juvia's. And then from Fenty Beauty, I've been really like super, super loving this gloss bomb, you guys. It's called Baby Brut. And it's a really light, like baby, I wouldn't even say a baby pink, like a barely blush pink color. And it has like silver reflex in it, but it is so beautiful. I just love the nude look that I get from this. Y'all look at that. I feel like this gloss is underrated. Like I love this gloss. This gloss stays in my purse. Well, I guess when I say underrated, I guess specifically this shade of gloss, y'all, it's so beautiful. All right, so is it bad that I low-key wanna go back and apply more of this bronzer? Not because I need to, but just because I really like doing it. Like, I don't know, I just really love this formula. It looks so good. I love this airbrush look I'm getting from it. And the time right now is 2.22 p.m. I'm not sure if you guys can see that. All right, you guys, so this is a finished look. Now, I really love how this look came out. I feel like it's just a really nice, natural, and light makeup look, which is what I wanted. I wanted something that was like your skin but better type look. I didn't want something that was medium or full coverage. Now, I did do three pumps only so that you guys could see how buildable it was. But honestly, I was comfortable at like a pump and a half to two pumps, no more than two pumps with this foundation. But when I did build it up, I didn't feel like it got cakey or anything. But I don't know, I was comfortable with just that because if I'm going for something like coverage, I just want something where, you know, my skin still shows through and it's still really nice and visible, but I have some type of coverage. Like, it just looks really good. And so far, I really do like this. Keep in mind that this is dewy. I can definitely tell that this skin tint is really dewy. So if you want something that's more mattifying, I would suggest using a mattifying primer, or you can also apply powder before you apply the skin tint just to help give your skin just some more leverage to help control your oils. But so far, you guys, I'm really liking this. Now, it's really hot, it's so humid, I'm gonna do so much today, so I really wanna see what this is gonna look like throughout the rest of the day today, but we'll see. As far as the bronzer from Glowish, now, I like the bronzer, but here's the thing that I don't like about it. I don't like the shade range, if I'm being honest. And anytime I really like a product and their shade range is trash, I get so mad because I just feel like, dang, like it's something that so many more people could have benefited from, but they didn't include other shades. Does that make sense? So I like it, I really do. I love how it applied. I really did get a really nice airbrush finish on it. The warmth, the amount of warmth that I got from this is perfect. Now, I don't have any contour on. I wasn't looking for it to be a contour. I was looking for it to just give me some warmth back to my skin so I can look like I've been kissed by the sun. But again, the shade range, you guys, Ugh, I can't, it just wasn't, I'm trying to even open this thing. Okay, it just wasn't even what I expected, but I do like the formula, but I don't like the shade range. It looks so good. It does? Yeah, it looks so natural. Yeah, that's what I wanted. I just wanted a quick natural look. It, it didn't take me any, any time to do this at all. It looked like your skin. How did you, what tinting did you use? From Huda Beauty Club Glowish. Oh, I thought you used to like the Fenty one. I do, but I'm trying out a new one. Oh. This is a review. You like this? So far I do, yeah. So far I do. I'll see how it holds up today, but so far I really do like it. How much was this one? Um, 34. Oh, so it's a little bit more expensive. Or 37. 
How much is a Fendi one? Thirty-two. Okay, so yeah, it's probably a little bit more expensive, but I like it so far. I do. So as far as the palette, you guys, this was my first time using the palette. I literally just used the last three shades. Oh, I also used this one as my highlighter. But I mean, you guys, it's a natural tone palette. I love the formula. This color story is like me. Like I really like these types of natural shades. I do love color as well too, but I really love this. Like this right here, this color story is all me. So I didn't try out every single color in the palette, but the formula from what I use so far, I really do like it. I feel like her formula is really nice. I personally do like it. And yeah, I mean, look at the natural look that I came out with. Like I really do like it. And again, I'm on vacation. I don't want nothing too much. Like some days I do want that, but for right now with what I have to do today, I just want something quick, easy, and natural. Like this whole makeup looks something like what, 20 minutes or so? Like it was that easy to apply everything that I used today. And I feel like this is so beginner friendly. So you guys, that's it for this video. Tell me what you guys think. Have you tried out this skin tint? Will you be trying it out? Now, what do you think about the bronzer? Do you agree, disagree with me? I don't know, let me know what you guys think. I really wanna know your thoughts, especially on this bronzer. And I also wanna know, do you guys go on family vacations with your family? Like, I feel like family vacations are so fun and I feel like it's just a time for the family and for everyone to reconnect because so often we just get so busy like with our day-to-day -day lives. And I know I'm guilty of this too, where sometimes like, you know, the people that you love and everything like that will sometimes get put on the back burner, not intentionally, but it's just that you just have so much to do. And I feel like it's so nice when you guys can just come together and take that time and just woosa together and just spend the moments together because life is short, life is precious. So you guys enjoy your time with your family, be safe. I know for us, we're just doing like a slight little staycation type thing because the COVID numbers are going up, but we still want to be safe. So we're really just, just together and that's what it's about. So you guys, I will try to film another video during this trip. I don't know. It's just about me just relaxing and having fun. And yeah, so let me know what you guys think about this look. If you haven't followed me on my Instagram, please do. It's at lawlessgrant underscore. And I will see you guys in my next video. Go ahead and watch more of my videos. If you do like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thanks guys, bye. All right, you guys, so I'm back. It's been a long day. Like literally when I show you the time, you probably won't believe me. But actually what I wanted to say was, when I looked at the footage from earlier, I saw that when I was trying to show you the time of 2.22 p.m., you couldn't really see it. And again, I'm not in my normal filming area, so the lighting and everything is a little off. But I'm gonna show you the time now, and hopefully you can see it, but it's 2.09 a.m. You guys, I hope you all can see that, because I did turn the brightness down. So that means that I've had this skin tint on for literally almost 12 hours. And when I tell you I'm shocked, like, I am so shocked. Now I have had some areas around my mouth where it like broke apart, but I know that that's completely fine and it's normal because I had my mask on, I was walking outside, it was hot, humid, and I was talking and everything. But you guys, it looks so good and I only touched up like once today. I took a paper towel and I just tried to get some of the oil off from my face. So it was really mainly like on my forehead and my T-zone area. But you guys, look at this, it looks so good. Now I do have a nice little glow to me right now, right? But I feel like with even some foundations that I've worn for this long, at the end of the day, I look so much more oilier than this. So again, I'm actually really shocked. And I'm excited because I feel like my perception of skin tints is literally changing. Like I've always thought like, okay, I'll wear it for just maybe like a couple of hours and then be done with it. But I never really saw them as long lasting. And I really love it because I just feel like I don't know, it just looks so good. It's lightweight, it's breathable. I feel like I have a really nice color match on my skin. It looks so good. This skin tint, I would 100% absolutely recommend. There's definitely something special about this. And I just want to touch base on the bronzer real quick. So when I looked at myself in the mirror, I could kind of see where the bronzer was, but I feel like that has kind of melted into my skin. Like I can't see it as much anymore. I do see it a little bit, but not as much. But then again, I don't know because again, I mask and you know it can rub up around those areas so I'm not completely really sure but I mean overall the star of the show for me is definitely the skin tint. All right you guys so that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and got to see like how long the skin tint lasts. Like I'm actually really shocked. If you have tried the skin tint try to wear it for multiple hours and instead of wearing a foundation 
where this skin didn't set. I really want to see like will you be surprised as much as I am because I am still shocked. So yeah, so that is all I got. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.